Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make a transparent object in Blender. Let's get started. Press Shift A and add a cube object. Click the modifier tab and add a wireframe modifier. Set the thickness value to 0.1. Add a monkey head. Press Ctrl 2 and add a subdivision surface modifier. Right-click and make shade smooth. Add another cube object. All right, what we're gonna do is add transparent material to the cube and allow the monkey head to be visible. Press Z key to switch to the render preview mode. Click the render properties tab and ensure that the cycles is active render engine. Add a sunlight. Adjust the sun angle as you wish. Select the wireframe, go to the Material Properties tab, click the New button, and add a material. Pick a base color. Select the cube, add a new material, and pick any color. Alright, let's split the window. Switch the new workspace to the Shader Editor. Press N key to close the right panel. Here we can see the principled shader node belonging to the cube object. In order to make the material transparent, we need to lower the alpha value. That's it. If we set the alpha value to 0.5, the material becomes semi-transparent, and we can see the monkey head through the cube. If we set the alpha value all the way down to zero, the material becomes completely transparent, just like air. If the alpha value is set to one, the material becomes completely opaque. All right, it's very easy to make transparent material with cycles. What if we switch to Eevee? Click on the Render Properties tab and switch to the Eevee. As you can see, we have lost the transparency. We need to make some settings to get back transparency in Eevee. Click the Material Properties tab and scroll down to the Settings panel. Switch the Blend Mode from Opaque to Alpha Hashed. That's it. We can see through the model now. However, the sunlight doesn't pass through the cube, and we can't see the shadows. To fix this, switch the Shadow Mode from Opaque to Alpha Hashed. There we go. Now we can adjust the transparency level. All right. Now let's learn how to use transparent background images in PNG format in Blender. On the Shader Editor, press Shift-A and add an image texture. Click on the Open button and open any image in PNG format. Plug the Color node into the Base Color node. Plug the Alpha node into the Alpha node of the principled shader. That's it. As you know, PNG images contain transparency data. It's a black-white image data. The black color means the alpha value is zero. So, the black areas would be completely transparent. The white color means the alpha value is one. So, the white areas would be completely opaque. All right, let's map the image texture on the cube correctly. Select the image texture node and press Ctrl T. So, the texture coordinates and mapping nodes will be added automatically. Note that the Node Wrangler add-on has to be enabled. Switch the texture coordinates to the object. Switch the extrapolated type to the clip. Switch the projected method to the box. So, the image will be projected for each face of the cube. We can also adjust the location of the image. Set the X, Y, and Z location values to 0.5 in the mapping node. Additionally, we can adjust the scale of the image. Set the X, Y, and Z scale values to 0.5. All right, as you can see, the transparent areas are completely transparent. What if we want to make semi-transparent in those areas? To do that, add another principled shader node. We need to mix both shaders. Add a mix shader. Plug the new shader into the second shader node. Pick a base color. As you can see, both shaders mix equally at the factor value of 0.5.
If we slide the factor value to 1, it will be the second shader completely. If we set the factor to 0, it will be the first shader completely. But that's not what we want. We want to keep the image texture and only adjust the transparency level of the second shader. To do that, add a mix color node. Plug the result node into the color node of the second shader. Plug the color node into the B socket. Plug the alpha node into the factor node of the mix shader. Pick a color for A socket. Now, when we slide the factor value, we can keep the tiger image and adjust the transparency level. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.